welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I would love to have you subscribe, like, comment, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video is going to be a collab, and I am collabing with Steph, not your basic Steph, my beautiful friend, my soul sister, my mentor. I am so excited to be doing this with her. I think this is like our fourth or fifth collab, and I am so excited because we are using one of my favorite palettes ever. She got this palette not too long ago, and I have used this palette one other time on my channel. I did a look with it, and I talked to you guys about my favorite things. You might be aware of what I'm going to be showing you here in a minute, but I was so thrilled that she got it, and she said, you know what? We've got to do a palette bingo with this baby, and I said, yes, we do. And it is the Jackie Anna Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. <laughs> yes. And she had me pick the shades with my random generator app. And I chose Edges, Ginger, Lituation, Dwalas, Dwalas. I'm going to try not to say that 4,000 times, but I love saying that. And then Soleil. So yes, I chose basically the neutral shades of the palette. And Steph is a color girl. She creates some of the most beautiful, colorful eye looks I have ever seen. I love watching her videos. She is truly such an artiste. I sit there in like stunned silence, just like, wow, you really just did that. And she makes it look so easy. And I'm telling you, there is nothing easy about the eye looks that she creates, but she just has it down, baby. She knows her stuff. So yes, this is the palette. Those are the shades. I have swatched the color story on my arm right here for you guys. This is it. And I think this is a really nice color story. I think it's going to be really fun. I mean, I think it's going to be pretty easy to put a look together with this, but I don't know if Steph's real thrilled with these colors because like I said, she loves her bold, bright colors. So yeah. But she's a good sport. She's going to do this with me. And hallelujah, I'm so happy. So if you guys are interested to see my look with the five shades that I randomly selected from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette for my palette bingo collab with Steph, not your basic Steph, then please sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, let's get started with this palette bingo collab with my beautiful friend, my soul sister, and my mentor, Steph, not your basic Steph. I truly owe her so much. I don't think I would have this channel without her. She was so helpful and still is to this day with my channel, with video ideas. Uh, she really helped me like with editing. I mean, just this whole thing has been sparked by her and uh, I owe her a lot. If I had a million dollars, I would give it to her. Um, I might have to rob a bank, but you know, and not get caught. <laughs> this is the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that we're going to be using today on our look. And yes, I picked all of the neutral shades basically on this palette. I was like, uh oh, stuff's going to like flatten my tires, but we don't live in the same country. So I'm safe. I'm safe. So I'm going to start off with edges here. I'm going to put that in my inner and outer part of the lid. I am going to try doing a halo eye. I'm not very good at them, but I'm going to practice it some more today. Uh, Andy, Andy does stuff. She was my last collab partner and she created the most beautiful halo eye with the Violet's palette from Juvia's Place. So she is my inspiration today. All right, so let's get started with edges. Like I said, I'm going to put that at the inner and outer part of my lid. I'm going to start with the outer part. Uh, my makeup is on, my brows are done, and I have primed my eyelids in, or this eyelid, in the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, it's almost gone, so I'm trying to like use it up. I'm trying to use the things that I have completely gone, which is not uh, my strong suit because I just keep getting more stuff. But yeah, I'm going to try to use all of that up. It's almost gone. And I really love that primer. It's really a nice primer. It's very easy to use and easy to apply, and it works very well. And I love this shade. I've used this before a few times, and I really like it. It's a really nice uh, kind of, I don't know, rusty brown shade, kind of orangey brown, like burnt orange. Um, could I think of another adjective? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, but I really like it. And I am just not the greatest at halo ways, I'm telling you right now. And I think part of it is because I don't always like the way it makes my eye shape look. Like I like the more elongated eye. And this kind of makes my eyes look really rounded. I don't know. It just kind of, it's not my favorite look on me. But I've always really loved how it looks on other people. Um, I sent Steph a Cara Beauty palette oh, a while back. And she created the most beautiful halo eye with that. It was like a blue toned halo eye. And oh, it was so gorgeous. So now that I've got that shade laid down, I'm going to go into ginger here with my little BH Cosmetics brush and just kind of blend that out and kind of bring those two shades kind of together a little bit. Just blend it out a little bit. Just kind of go across here with this shade. Yeah, Steph is just such a talented makeup artist. She's just incredible. My husband has actually sat and watched her videos with me and he's like, oh my God, she's incredible. I'm like, yeah. And he asked me, he's like, well, does she draw or does she, and I don't know if she draws. I've never asked her that. Um, Steph, do you draw? I want to know. You can comment down in the comment section because um, she's just so artistic. I mean, she's amazing. 
I will never forget the first time I watched one of her videos. It was last Christmas, well not this last Christmas, but Christmas of 2020. She and Katie from Makeup for Last Time, they had done a collab. And I had found Katie maybe a month or so before that and I uh, just fell in love with her. I just loved her content, her as a person, her makeup looks. I mean, she's so she's really talented too. I mean, very talented. And I was absolutely blown away by Steph's video. I just was like, how did I not know that this person has a channel? I mean, I just fell in love with her immediately. So I subscribed and started watching her videos. And I, I mean, I kind of told this story before, but we just totally hit it off. And uh, she is truly a family member to me. I mean, she is like, my kids call her Auntie Steph. Uh, my husband considers her like a sister as well. Um, I feel very close to her family members, like her boyfriend and her daughter. I, you know, her daughter is my niece. I mean, she is. Um, her pets. Um, I've actually met Steph's mom over video call. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's been a wonderful life experience to have this person in my life. I just, I love her so much. And uh, she's truly one of the most loving, caring, warm, amazing people that I've ever met. Um, and I just hope that we are friends forever. And I cannot wait to go to the UK and wrap my arms around her and tell her I love her because I want to do that so bad. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Eco Tools brush here and I'm going to go into Dwalas. Dwalas! I think I've said that, what, 10 times now? Okay, I'm on a roll. And I'm just going to put this down in the middle of my lid. I'm not going to spray this. I may regret that because I do have my face makeup on. This may go all over the place, but I think it's going to be okay. Put that down right in the middle here where that little empty space is. Um, and I think I'm going to go over the edge of the, uh, what is that, edges? Yeah, I'm going to go over the edges shade a little bit too. Um, and I think part of the problem with my Halo Eyes in the past is that I've used a really like um, flat brush and then like, I don't know, it just doesn't really like disperse like I want it to, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, I think that's really pretty so far. We'll see. <sighs> And then I'm going to take that up a little bit over my transition area or my crease of my eye, whatever. I never can remember exactly what things are called. Um, and then just kind of make sure that this is nice and defined um, at the base of the lid here or towards my lashes. Um, but I love the shades in this palette. They're just gorgeous. The only one that I don't, well, I like it is this big wig shade. Sometimes when I tried to blend that out, it doesn't blend out very well. Purples can be kind of tricky sometimes. Okay, I really like that. But I am going to go back over just a little bit with edges here and just kind of make sure that looks a little bit more halo-y, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> but I think I'm doing a pretty decent job so far, you guys. I don't know. It was brought to my attention that my intro music and my outro music is super loud, and I apologize for that. Um, you know, I'm not a editing wizard by any stretch of the imagination, um, and I did make a new, obviously, a new intro and outro. So I'm going to try to see if I can tone the volume of that down. So if I've blown your eardrums out, I apologize. Um, but if you're looking for perfection on this channel, uh, you ain't going to find it. I'll tell you that right now. Now I'm just going to put a little bit more of Dwalas down, just a little bit, just to kind of make sure that's nice and halo-y looking. And the thing too is you can't really rush a halo eye. You know, you just kind of got to take your time and make sure you like how it looks. Now I'm going to do my lower waterline. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Gold Plated. I've used this a bunch of times on my channel, but I thought this would go very well with the Dwalas shade. <laughs> Snuck another one in there. <laughs> and I love these. These are really nice. They're very pigmented and uh, work really well in the waterline. And my eyes lately, well, actually not lately. It's been quite a while that I've had really watery eyes and I don't get it. I don't get what's going on, it drives me crazy. And it's mostly like in the outer corner here. So when I do my makeup and I get home from work, this like outer corner part is like, that's not cute, it looks awful. Now I'm gonna go into edges with my little Eco Tools brush. This is a really nice brush, it's like double-ended. It's got the like fluffier one that I use for Dwalas. Ha, did it again. But it's got this other little like lining brush on this other side, so I'm gonna use that now. Um, and I love Eco Tools products. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down out here towards the outer part of my lower lash line. Just kind of make that nice and pretty. Um, I was hoping to get this shade here called Credit too, because um, I love that deep brown shade. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna use the colors that I randomly generated. Steph was very brave to let me do this. Um, I was like, are you sure? She's like, yeah, go ahead. And then I picked all the neutral shades. <laughs> oh boy. And Steph has the most beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette collection. When I come to the UK, I told her this, 
Uh, she may never get rid of me because I might just move in. Um, I am rolling around in your eyeshadow palettes. I mean, you can leave the lid shut, but I'm rolling around in them, okay? That's like my dream is to roll around in her eyeshadow palettes. I'm not kidding. And now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take ginger and I'm going to blend that out just a little bit because it's kind of like a really harsh line and I don't really like how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of blow that out a little bit more with the ginger shade. Have it look a little bit more soft and... Uh, just more, more blendy, I guess, yeah? Is that a word, blendy? I don't know. Then I'm gonna grab my littler brush and I'm gonna go into Lituation. I don't know that I've ever used this shade. I think, I, well, maybe I have, I don't know. I think maybe the first time I've ever used it was when I swatched it at the beginning, I don't know. I'm gonna put that down right here. I just wanted to put a little bit of shine down at the lower lash line. That's pretty, I like that. I love the shimmers in this palette, oh, especially Dwalas. Ha! Did it again. I'm going to, okay, I want somebody to add up all of the times that I say the word Dwalas and just let me know. I'll probably add it up when I'm editing, but I want to know how many times I said the word Dwalas. So that's your challenge is to count and put it in the comment section. I would say the first person that does it, I'll buy you a car, but it probably won't run. Or I could get you a Matchbox car. <laughs> your choice. And now for the inner corner shade, I'm going to go with Soleil. I mean, I don't have a choice. That's the only one that I think would be suitable for the inner corner. I mean, I could use Dwalas, <laughs> but I'm not going to. Okay. You guys are probably so sick of me by now. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, yeah, I like how this look came together. I really do. I'm proud of myself for doing a halo eye. I don't know if it's the best halo eye uh, in the world. It's not. But, you know... Like I said, if you're looking for perfection on this channel, baby, you ain't going to get it. You might get obnoxious. You might get a little crazy, but you're not going to get perfection. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done with my eye look. So I think I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do my other eye. I'm going to apply my eyeliner, my mascara, and my lipstick, and then I'll come back and show you how it all came together. So please don't go anywhere. I am back. This is the finished look. I really like how this turned out. Uh, Halo eyes are not my forte, but I really do want to practice them more and like get better at them. And Andy, Andy does stuff, like I said at the beginning, she really inspired me to want to do a halo eye. She created the most beautiful halo eye in our collab with the Violets palette from Juvia's Place. She definitely inspired me to do this today. All right, this is the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that Steph and I used in our palette bingo collab today. The shades that I randomly selected are edges. I use that in the inner and outer part of my lid. I blended that out with ginger. Then I used Dwalas count it, Dwalas in the middle part of my lid. Then I used a combination of edges, ginger, and lituation on the lower lash line. I used Soleil for the inner corner, and then I also popped that a little bit under my brow as I was doing the other eye. I don't know, I just thought that would look nice, kind of brighten that area up a little bit. And I cannot wait to see Steph's look with these shades. Uh, like I said, she is a color girl, but I really think she's gonna create an absolutely dynamic, beautiful look with these shades. She could use mud, and it would look absolutely beautiful. The most beautiful, muddy eyelids you'd ever seen in your life. And I did wanna go over a few other things I used in my finished look today. For my eyeliner, I used the Queen Nubia Cosmetics Liquid Liner in the shade Black. I love this. You guys know that. This was, I think, $6.50 off the Queen Nubia Cosmetics website. I don't know what you guys are waiting for. If you have not gone to her website and bought yourself a few things, please go do that. She's amazing. Her brand is amazing. Her products are amazing. And I'm just so glad that I found this brand. I love it. And for my mascara, I used the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effects Mascara in Black. I haven't used this in a while. I've used it a million times, believe me. But I don't know. I just felt like using this today because it's got such a nice wand. I didn't want to screw up my halo eye effect. Um, not that I would have. I mean, I wasn't like running around the house putting my mascara on. But I just really like this a lot. I love it. It's one of my favorite mascaras I've ever used. So I figured today was a wonderful day to pull this out and use it. And then on my lips, I used the Queen Nubia Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade My Lisa. I love this shade. I love the formula. You really can't even fill it on your lips. I just think it's gorgeous. The formula, the color, everything about it, this little tube, it's so cute. I love it, it's beautiful. And like I said, you need to go to the Queen Nubia Cosmetics website and buy yourself a few things because I'm telling you, she has amazing products and they're so affordable. 
And like I said, I cannot wait to see the look that Steph creates with these shades. I will have Steph's channel, Not Your Basic Stuff, linked in my description box. If you have not subscribed to her, I don't know how that's possible. Everybody in the world should be subscribed to her. Please go to her channel and subscribe and watch her videos. You will love her. She is so talented. She's so inspiring and motivating. And I love her with all of my heart and soul. She is my family. She's my friend. I cannot wait to finally meet her in person and just hug her and never let her go. I'm going to be like a leech. So thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy day or evening to sit down and watch my video. It always means the world to me. If you have subscribed or you would like to subscribe, do not forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're aware of all of my future uploads. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video, but in the meantime, please take care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I hope to see you again very soon. Take care, you guys. Thanks again. Bye.